everyone for Janet High! Hello. Uh, so the weather is finally cooling down in New York, right? It's so nice. Uh, especially because that means that catcalling season is winding down, right ladies? Yeah. Uh, let, let me tell you, catcalling is offensive, right? I'm walking down the street, some guy's sitting on his stoop, and as I go by, he says, mm, gorgeous. But then, like two minutes later, some other woman walks by, and he tells her she's beautiful. Uh, excuse me, sir, are you just saying this to everyone who walks by? Do you understand how much that devalues the compliment that you just gave me? And how that makes me feel? When you whispered in my ear, I want to fuck you raw. I thought that meant something. <laughs> uh, I spend a lot of time around male comics, so I hear a lot of dumb things. <laughs> a lot of dumb stuff. Like one time, I heard a male comic tell a joke about how one time he had sex with a woman who squirted when she came. That was the joke. She squirted. It was yucky. <laughs> and that's dumb, right? I mean, because listen, it's unusual for women to ejaculate when they orgasm, so I can understand being very surprised by that, maybe unprepared. You didn't have a towel handy, now you gotta change your sheets. That's a real drag, okay. <laughs> but let's dial down the disgust, shall we? Because sure, she squirted. Did you not? <laughs> you know, because every time guys come, gross stuff comes out. Every single time. And yet, people who choose to have sex with men accept it into our hearts and backs and sometimes faces without making you feel like a monster for a physical reaction, you know? I just feel like straight guys, at least, are real hypocrites when it comes to bodily fluid, right? Because if you suggest period sex, he's probably going to hesitate. Um, but if you even hint that you don't love the way his cum tastes, like his feeling is hurt, you know? <laughs> he's upset about it. Um, I just feel like men with their cum, it's sort of like when your cat brings a dead mouse into your living room. <laughs> it's like, oh honey, I know you're very proud of this, but it is objectively disgusting. <laughs> I don't want it on my carpet. Uh, yeah. uh, one, of my, one of my pet peeves is when people can't accept compliments. And by people, I do mean women. Uh, men are great at taking credit, whether they deserve it or not. Um, but a lot of women are very uncomfortable with compliments, right? They feel like they need to actively reject them. And it could be like the lamest thing. You could be like, oh, Denise, what a lovely blouse you're wearing today. And she'd just be like, no, 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 no. I found this in a trash can. It's a, it's a really horrible color on me and it makes me look fat. I'm sorry you even have to see me today. I'm sorry, God, no. And it's like, Denise, don't call me a liar. Just say thank you, you know, take the compliment. Believe the nice thing. Because uh, I'm the opposite. Like, if somebody gives me a compliment, if a man is trying to hit on me and he tells me I'm beautiful, I just say, oh, thanks, I know. <laughs> and they do not like that at all, <laughs> let me tell you. You guys really want to be in control of that information. Uh, if we agree with you, it makes you want to snatch it right back, you know? They'll be like, yeah, well, you got a big nose. And I'm like, I know, it's very prominent on my face, which I thought you liked. This is confusing. <laughs> That's hard. That's enough to make you feel insecure sometimes, but I feel like you just gotta take the confidence where you can, you know? Just believe people when they say nice things. Say thank you. You know? Like, one thing I used to be really insecure about uh, was my bush, because uh, I'm Greek and Italian, so I can get real unruly, you know? And I used to be very self-conscious, not really know how to handle it, um, but when I was in my early 20s, I dated this guy who was a little older, I thought he was very sophisticated. And then the first time he saw me naked, he like paused and got real serious for a second. And he was like, does your pubic hair make you feel powerful? <laughs> uh, now it does. 